My name is Aya Rosen. Um, I live in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm an artist. I'm Yara Eshet, an artist and illustrator from Toronto, Canada. This is very cool. We've got a new um, sketch of the mail from Yara. Oh, wow. This is like, captures incredibly well what it feels like to draw. Oh wow, so this is the half page I need to work on. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. The way that this started was that um, I had the idea of um, doing a group of 12 artists that are all uh, Israeli expats and it never really picked up. So. Then Yara suggested that uh, we'll just send two books back and forth between the two of us. And I was super excited about that. It was amazing. And uh, that's how it's been going ever since. Later on today, I'm gonna go to the, the post office to send it. And I always like uh, sending something extra um, either a drawing or some kind of a craft of something that I've been working on. And right now I'm, I'm sending this little uh, handmade book. Hey, how you doing? Um, she's going to uh, my friend in Canada. This collaboration is one of the most uh, beautiful experience that I have in my life. And it's a very unique uh, relationship, uh, but very close because we're sharing something very, for me, very intimate. My art is very intimate. Very big this time. A lot of stuff inside. Look at this. Aya, it's so talented. Oh my God, Aya. <gasps> She made me a book. This is I sent and I finish. And this is I a new stuff. And you get your god. Oh my god. Okay. This is gonna be a hard one to do. And I'm trying, I'm learning so much from the work of Aya, the way she's doing textures. Pay more attention to the little details. Okay, <laughs> here's done, finished. Despite never meeting in person, this collaboration is um, very special because even though we live in different places, I think we share a lot of experience as a Israeli artist in different countries. This table, I wrote around it, and as answer to this tabletop, I did this tabletop. This is what I love. This book is a conversation between two of us. I did the house. I did around it the persons. I did the bird house, and I did all the birds around it, including this little guy. The pandemic and being stuck at home gave all of us this like weird dystopian experience. And this has been a really uh, wonderful lifeline into a fantasy world where I can feel like my life is not just the three blocks around my house. Open a new window for me because by working by myself all the time in the house, I'm in my head, in my space. And suddenly I think stuff from different point of view. 
very unique. So yes, for me, it's very special.